Welcome, psychology student. This is your professor, Mr. Girding. I'm going to show you how to do a Blackboard assignment appropriately. Notice I'm going to my browser. I use Chrome. Don't worry about my homepage. It's habitrpg.com. I really recommend you use it if you ever get a chance to. It is your to-do list. But anyway, what we're doing is we're going to Blackboard. So we go to bblearn.try-c.edu. Check it out, and we'll put in your username. For some of you, it's your S number. Sometimes it's your email address. Let's see if I did this right. And we should be in. Hopefully, this is patronizing to you at this point, because hopefully every single one of you, you know how to get into Blackboard. But I'm going clickety click, going to our class. Wubba dubba lubba dubba. I screwed that one up. But anyways, we're gonna go to Lessons tab over here. Go to your Assignments folder, and here's the assignment. But before I even read it, I'm just going to click on it again. So I actually go into the assignment. Boom. Now I'm into the assignment. Tells you the due date, September, Tuesday, September 16th. Possible points 10. That's a lot. So let's do this right. Here we go. For assignment two, all you have to do is write a short sentence or two after each of the number items listed below. Here are the 10 listed items below that it's referring to. Do not submit your assignment in the comment section. Do not email your assignment submission. Your assignment must be completed here within Blackboard. What does that mean? Well, well, the assignment is write a sentence or two after each of these items. It's supposed to be a descriptive item. Basically, you're making yourself a study guide. But look where it says write submission here. See how it says the comment section? This is not where you want to type in your answers. This is not where you want to type your answers. Even though it's tempting because you can type in there and everything like that, you want to go and click on write submission clicked on that and now a new window is opened up I know it's ridiculous I don't know why they do this but here's a little trick of the trade what you may want to do is take this copy that and just paste it right into here paste but it says it's not letting me do this so here's one thing that I have to do maybe it's because I'm using Chrome I'm not sure but I go ahead and I copy this and then I have to put it into Microsoft Word so here let me go to a new document this is ridiculous I'm sorry I'm even showing you this look at that I just pasted it there and well that's weird that they're different sizes hmm anyway let's see if this works I'm gonna copy it from here then if you're not following me don't worry all you really need to know is you're supposed to write your submission right there I'm gonna paste it ah look there it is now it's all pasted in this area even though that numbering's different all right definition of psychology then I'm gonna start writing in my answers um, definition of psychology that is the study of mental processes and behavior there you go and then what is the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist write your answers here <laughs> whatever actually do it I'm not gonna do your homework for you sorry and then you hit submit once you hit submit there you go. It will show you your submission, and you're good to go. It will say over here your grade is blank out of 10 because I have to actually give you your grade. But that is how you're supposed to do the assignments. Remember, the big deal, the big thing to remember is you go to Lessons tab, go to Assignments, and when you have to click on the assignment again, and then make sure that you do not write it in the comment section. All right, I'm Professor Girding. Thanks for listening.